Finally, a tripod that doesn't suck. This is the Chronicle tripod by ProMaster Photo. And in my opinion, this is the best tripod on the market for creators and photographers. My name is Dusty, I'm a full-time photographer and creator. And I've been using tripods for over 10 years now. In, in most instances, all I wanted to do was leave them at home, especially as I've started shooting more and more handheld. But we all know that there's some times when we need to use a tripod. So we might as well get the best one that we can, especially if you're traveling overseas and you need to bring something that hopefully has a lot of functionality, not just for being a tripod. And that's where this comes in. You've probably found this video because you're comparing this tripod or looking into purchasing it to something like the Peak Design Travel Tripod. And while that's a great option, I think this is the one that I would recommend over anything else out on the market. And that's for a couple of reasons. Like I said, tripods are generally clunky. They're just something that you have to bring along. And for the most part, somebody has some sort of tripod. And for the most part of my shooting career, I only use them, uh, like I said, when I absolutely had to. I can tell now. So the reason that I really love the ProMaster Chronicle is that it has a lot of use cases. So the number one thing that I really love is the built-in flexor. The column basically slides out. You get a handheld stabilizer, which you can vlog or do shooting content with. Gives you a little bit more support. You can use two hands, but it also gives you a three-legged table tripod. So this in itself creates a lot of value for me. When I'm looking at a tripod, you all are already are getting two basically tripods here. You can ditch the big legs. You don't even have to bring them along and you can just use this or you can bring them together and get all of that usability in one. And the second thing I really love is the built-in phone mount. So somebody that's shooting on iPhone and my camera a lot, you can leave the mount on your main camera and quickly switch out to flipping this up. It's got springs in there and your phone jumps right in there. So whether you want to use the full size one or you want to vlog or something like that with the handheld stabilizer, you can do that right away. The third major point that really changes this tripod compared to other ones for me is the three-legged monopod. So the legs off that standalone tabletop tripod click onto the bottom of one of these legs and then you get a three-legged monopod. So it actually has a stabilizer, basically three legs at the bottom where you can stand it up as a monopod and leave it by itself, it will stand. And then you get a clutch at the bottom that detaches and allows that ball head at the bottom of the monopod to actually move around. So whether you're shooting on like a 200 to 600 and you need some movement in the shots, whether you're shooting Eagle or something like that, you've got stabilization, but you can actually move with the monopod. So that is a major win, I would say compared to other models in this similar lineup. Other than that, you've got a very strong, there's three different sections in the leg. So you can extend it to about six feet tall, I would say. And then you've got a carbon build. So this is a carbon model. You've got another aluminum model if you don't want to quite pay the price for this, but overall it's quite light, but it's super sturdy. I'm shooting on a newer tripod back here. That was maybe around a hundred dollars. And when I look at the build quality, there's not really a comparison to something like this. And I've used this now in snow, weather i just took it to europe and i haven't had any problems no um, breaks nothing that uh, was an issue with it um back to like a traditional tripod we have the ball head in here it's fairly smooth it's nothing like you would get with a video tripod but for using this as a one size fits all tripod that you're going to use as a creator to do everything you need it covers those bases extremely well and i would say it's very well built so whether you're looking for a tripod for photography whether you're a social creator or whether you're just a hobbyist, I think this is a very good option. And having the different price options for the aluminum or the carbon gives you a little bit of choice there in how much you wanna spend. But if you wanna get a tripod that can do everything well and more, you're basically getting two to three different tripods in here. You've got the monopod and you've got the standalone tabletop tripod and stabilizer for vlogging. I'm trying to film what my puppy wants some attention. So hello to Luna. If you're looking for a tripod that's gonna allow you to create better content and stop worrying about, oh, I'm just bringing this along for that one shot, I think this really is the tripod for you because you get so much diversity out of just one piece of gear. You don't have to lug it up and only gonna be using it for that one long exposure shot or whatever. You can use it for a lot of things and especially if you're a creator that is doing social media and commercial stuff, this can act as your one piece of gear. And if you're traveling a lot, this is really gonna save a lot of weight. You're not having to bring extra equipment along to kind of cover those bases for you. That is a quick rundown on the Chronicle tripod. And that is exactly why I think this is the best tripod for creators out there, whether you're a photographer or a social creator, or even doing videos and you need something that's sturdy to hold up your camera for those locked up shots. I think this is the best go-to right now. Um, beating out some of the other competitors purely because it offers a lot more to the user when you're bringing a piece of gear along.
My name is Dusty Cressy. You can find me here on YouTube. I'm a skier and an outdoor adventure lover, and I also love photography in the creative world. So I'm going to be diving more into all of these different passions here on the channel and hopefully integrating them all together. You can also find me on Instagram at dusty.cressy. So hopefully you guys like this. If you think that this tripod is interesting to you, or if you have questions, drop a comment down below or send me a DM on Instagram and I'd be happy to chat about it. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully see you guys again soon.